I'm going to show you an exhibit by Mundy Hepburn of glass objects he's blown to contain seven noble gases in various mixtures into which he has mounted electrodes to discharge electrical energy and create storms, patterns, creations with stems and feet which respond to our visiting them with our hands or touching them. I have my fan and then I have, you kind of chill the glass a little bit and that gets, enables you to get control of it. Then you give it a pop, you get a bubble established, then you let the bubble freeze, dip in again, keep doing it until finally your back's about to break and you've got so much glass on the end of the blowpipe that it sometimes drips on the floor and you're struggling to control the latest gather. But when you go like this, it goes oh. It's metastables. Look at how cool. So, so you grounded it and now you're, it's picking up, yeah, that's nice. So that's, that's the energy of your hand. No, it's actually the energy of the lamp discharging into my hand. I'm a ground. Giving a, a kind yeah. of... Um, Did you see that? that? If it gives you pleasure, it will enhance your health. Well, yeah. Of course, but I mean, above and beyond that. Well, I wonder. I, I definitely do. wonder. I do too. I don't know how to test that because health is... Oh, so many factors to it. Looks like dandelion. Yeah, yeah. That turns pretty like, I've realized that I'm way too insecure and too nervous to be an artist. So I just do what I do, and then everybody says, oh, how lovely, and I go and look at it, and I go, yeah, yeah that's okay. So Guy's nuts. He's excellent. He's where my furnace is now. He lives way the hell out of the mountain. And uh, on his side yard is a little shack. My furnace isn't turned on right now. At some point, I hope to turn it back on and make stuff. But now Kurt's a good glass blower. Oh. He makes but in 1986, when I was just learning this stuff, I would give him lights, and he would struggle and learn how to make the power supplies. Because those oh. power supplies, you can't get them. Well, now you can get them oh. commercially, oh. but you can, there's only one place in this country to get them. And they're made by hand by gnomes in New Hampshire.